Uh, today I'm going to uh, explain how to auto mount a partition. So after you boot, you already have a partition that you can use that's open. So we can take a brief look at the uh, mount tool. Now I have uh, SDB1 that's uh, mounted already and that's the USB uh, stick that's used to uh, uh, start the program, um, tiny core. And you can see that I have actually JWM uh, window manager uh, uh, that I prefer because I'm familiar with the uh, Puppy Linux where the uh, JWM is the default uh, uh, window manager. Uh, let me explain. Uh, I have SDA2, which is a partition in an internal hard, hard drive where I have all my documents, photos, and the music that I like to be able to uh, use uh, after I uh, boot uh, the tiny core. And right now, I have to manually click uh, to get it mounted. So we can uh, just uh, fire up a... Uh, a terminal uh, here. Uh, this is actually GNOME uh, a terminal that I prefer because it's easier to uh, uh, make the uh, uh, letters large and also uh, copy and paste. So we can just briefly uh, uh, give it a command of LSBLK list block and you can see that SDA2 is the uh, uh, is my interest in this uh, 25 gig. Um, so we can uh, we can uh, go ahead and mount uh, uh, manually using uh, the command of mount dev device SDA2. And I want it mount, mounted on SD, uh, MNT SDA2. And that way we can go ahead and CD into MNT SDA2 and access the uh, hard drive. So let's see. Let's go ahead and mount manually. And then uh, we can refresh and take a look. And you can see that it's uh, mounted. Uh, similarly, we can go ahead and uh, unmount U mount, unmount, and we can just use the command of NMT uh, SDA2. So that will unmount it. So let's go ahead and refresh it again. It's now it's not mounted. So, uh, so at this point, it's pretty easy to go ahead. And we want to uh, have it persist after we reboot the computer. So the command to do that is to use the uh, uh, auto start uh, uh, capability of a uh, boot local dot sh. So we can go ahead and at this point, we can go ahead and sudo editor. We'll use the editor opt boot local sh. This is the um, this is the editor we'll go ahead and use, and the letters are pretty small, but I'll go ahead and read loud for you. So what we want to do is put put here the command of mount what the uh, dash t is the type. What what the type we want the ext for? Mounted space dev uh, sda two space mnt sda two. So that's the partition that we want it mounted on mnt sda two. So simply uh, go ahead and, do it and then uh, save the file. Okay. So what you'll see is that we need to uh, run the backup. Uh, 
have it again because uh, I did it already once, but we'll go ahead and let it reboot. So after it reboots, we get back to this screen and then we'll take a look at the uh, mount tool. And you can see that SDA2 is auto-mounted.